Max McKee was five when he broke his arm. The surgeon who set the bone and put it in a cast was Dr. Tracy Hicks in Langley. As soon as it came out, it was obviously um, deformed. When it is outstretched, you know, to a shoulder height, his forearm actually points downwards. The Court of Appeal just ordered Hicks to pay Max more than $360,000 for negligence. It was the second negligence ruling against Hicks so far this year, and it follows a long string of malpractice claims and court rulings. In the last 10 years alone, seven negligence lawsuits have been resolved before trial by mutual agreement. In most cases, Hicks denied wrongdoing and claimed his care was standard and appropriate. But in one, he admitted he did a hip replacement on a woman who actually needed a knee replacement. And the negligence allegations date back decades. One mom still questions if he played a role in her daughter's death. Heidi Klompas was hit by a drunk driver in 1997. She was taken to Peace Arch Hospital with two broken legs. Hicks was the orthopedic surgeon on call. So, yeah, Dr. Tracy Hicks, who took his sweet time coming in. A coroner's report says Hicks didn't arrive at the hospital until seven hours after he was called. Heidi's broken legs led to something called a fat embolism. That caused a seizure that put her in a coma for weeks. She died of blood loss when her breathing tube pierced an artery. The coroner said the fat embolism was the proximal cause of death, and the best prevention of that is quick treatment of broken bones. Hicks declined to be interviewed. Why are they still allowing him to practice on, on patients? Fraser Health says he no longer has operating privileges at any hospitals but he's still fully licensed, with no public record of discipline at the College of Physicians and Surgeons. Like, how many people does one person have to allegedly um, harm or injure for the college to be able to actually step in and say, you know what, like, enough's enough. The college says there are currently some restrictions on Hicks's practice. He's agreed to only assist with surgeries and work in office settings. A college spokesperson says those measures protect the public. Bethany Lindsay, CBC News, Vancouver.